Oh, look at this. Look at all the smoke that is coming out from the hopper. It is actually covering myself. That's insane. Oh my god. Alright, I need to get rid of the pot for a while. Hi guys, and this is Jeff. I don't know if you guys noticed, things look a little bit different again today because I am actually trying to eat out in Hong Kong as much as I can. And as you can see, there is a pot right in front of me. And yes, today I'm actually going to have hot pot. So specifically, I've picked this place, which is in Sha Tin Wai. And they do some of the most Hong Kong style hot pot that you could ever find. This place is really special, pretty much everything is self-served. Not just you can pick your own food, but you basically have to help yourself on everything. Alright, let's just get started. So this is kind of like a DIY hot pot where basically I have to help myself. So I'm just going to put this into the boiling water. This will be the essence of this hot pot. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I just squeeze that in. And then you just have to stir it. I'm just going to stir it so that you get like the broth for the hot pot. All right, that looks amazing. Yeah, I'm done with the soup base and just to save time, I've actually already picked my food. So this is the goodie that I have picked. You probably can't see this clearly, but I don't think these are the food that you would normally pick. But basically these are the internal organs of different sorts of animals. And I will try to recognize it myself, but otherwise if I can't, you guys, please help me out and let me know what I've eaten. Because as a Hong Konger, we always try food that you wouldn't come across before. So here we go. So the first item that I'm gonna eat from this beautiful plate would be the cow stomach. So first of all, it would be the stomach. I'm just gonna put this in. Hot pot is really simple. All you have to do is just put the ingredients that you want and then put it into a boiling soup. This is how you do it. Simple yet very tasty. Just a heads up that I actually have to finish all these, otherwise I will have to pay like a $30 penalty if you waste your food. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking and start eating. Oh, yeah, I got some sauce as well. So I put in some spring onions and garlic and a little bit of chili. Let's just get started. I'm trying to start with the easy stuff because like personally, I love eating stomach. Mmm. Mmm. It is a little bit chewy, but like, it has a really good texture to it. And surprisingly, stomach is a little bit filling. I don't know if that is because it's a little bit glutinous. So even though I just had my first food item, I'm already, oh, a little bit full. <laughs> Let's move on to the second stuff. And here we have pig's intestines. The small intestines. I don't know how I'm gonna eat it, but I'm just gonna put that in. I picked quite a few, so yeah, second. And then third. <laughs> Sometimes I'm thinking, are you out of your mind? Because you can actually have like beef slices and veggies and fish balls and all this normal stuff, but I picked all this weird stuff. Like, what am I thinking? Okay, just gonna stir it a little bit. This is how you do it. Okay, it's time to pick this up. Small intestines. Here we go. As usual, I will just dip it in the sauce. It gives like some flavors to these internal organs. Jang. Wow, well, how should I describe this? I just run out of words. I think it's chewy in a slightly different way. So it's kind of like you're having the tendon or the fat. So it's actually really chewy, but it's in a really good way. It actually has like the taste of the meat. It sounds a little bit weird, but that is how I would describe it. Let's move on to these guys. If you're wondering what's that thing that looks like an elephant trunk, that's the cow's small intestines. What? 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 Right now I'm just gonna wait and then eat. I think that's ready. Okay, just pick it. 
What? 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 Here you go. Does it look like an alien from Trump? I do think so, eh? This time around, I'm not gonna put in any sauce and see how that tastes like in its raw form. Ah. This fried elephant trunk is really chewy. It's literally like you can't just bite it with your teeth. It wouldn't break even if you keep biting. And you can obviously taste like the waste inside. It's a really interesting sensation, I would say. <laughs> it's a little bit subtle, it's not that strong. But don't worry, it's not that strong. I'm still chewing it. And I don't think I'm gonna break it, so I'm just gonna follow it. Oh, God. It's hard to chew. This one is not really my favorite. Last elephant trunk. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if it works. Does that work? <laughs> I look like an idiot right now. Just gonna eat it. Mm. Mm. It's really, really hard to kill. And then I'm gonna move on to this. Next one. Ox tongue. Gonna put that in. Oh, sometimes hot pocket take a while, eh? Hey. What time is it? Hmm. That takes a while, but I think that's ready. It's kind of like a treasure hunt because you never know what you have left in the pot. Let's just eat it in another way. Mm. This just tastes like any normal meat. It's just a little bit more rough than the normal beef that you would get. I like it. So these are the food that we have in Hong Kong. And some people eat those food on a regular basis. This is what I have left. Look at this. The pink stuff over here. So this is actually squid. And this one is actually stomach. Since I know the squid is probably gonna take a while to cook, so I'm just gonna put everything into the boiling hot pot. The last round. I've cleared all of these. Look at this, it's bright and shiny. Oh, it's already 8 o'clock by the way. When I came in, it was actually 6.40. I've been eating for quite a while, and yeah, I start to feel a little bit full. It's time to eat the squid and also the pig stomach! Last run for Jack! I've got nothing to do, so I'm just gonna put my face into the smoke because it's actually a little bit cold. Oh, I feel so warm now. Penny! Alright, stomach! Oh, look at that, look at that. Mmm! So the texture actually kind of tastes like the small intestines of a cow. It's kind of like a similar texture, it's a little bit chewy. There isn't like any unpleasant taste. I would totally recommend it. Mmm, squid. Just really chewy. But I think the pink squid is a little bit less springy than the white squid that you would find. It actually absorbs like the taste of the broth. It tastes good. I just like the combination of everything together. Do you see like the smoke coming out from my mouth? Oh my god. I'm like a five-year-old child. Okay, so this is done. I have smashed all the internal organs plus that unknown pink thingy, which is actually sweet. And I can tell you 
this is actually the best place to have Hong Kong hot pot. This is the most local place where you could get Hong Kong hot pot, so I would totally recommend not just the weird stuff that I have, they also have like normal food like beef and pork slices, chicken breast, chicken wings, fish balls, siu mai, etc. So there's a wide range of selections that you could pick from, so don't be like me, pick all the weird stuff. And soft drinks are free as well. And if you really want like a local experience and eat like a local Hong Konger, just come here and you will throw it yourself. Thank you so much for following me on my foodie adventure. If you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can get the latest update from me. And also, I just opened an Instagram account, Jeffles Changi, so that you can see all the food photos there for foodies like you. Alright, I will see you guys next time.